Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, welcome to FVD Elements, and in this episode, by special request of Travis Johnson, we are doing a non-inverting loop. Uh, Travis sent me a message the other day and asked me if I'd be able to do one. Uh, the funny thing is, actually, one of my subscribers, uh, Lewis Riverman, had just sent me a file that he was working on where he did a non-inverting loop. Uh, I had never done one before, so I took a look at his file just to see how he did it, got the general idea for it, and put this together for Travis. So I will uh, put a link to Lewis's uh, track, or the uh, actual video he made of the ride that he did feature in FED featuring a non-inverted loop, so you can take a look at that as well. That link will either be in the description or appearing on the screen right now, one or the other. Uh, so Lewis, uh, this wasn't too difficult to do, man. Uh, it only took me a few minutes, really just kind of playing around. Uh, one thing to note is when you look at uh, non-inverting loops, I did the DC rival style one here, uh, sort of. I didn't exactly try to make exactly what uh, DC rivals looks like, but just one thing to keep in mind is that they, uh, the different manufacturers have different styles of non-inverting loops. Uh, the Intamin uh, style, uh, like you'll see on Soaring with Dragon at Hefei Park and uh, Flying Aces in Abu Dhabi, tends to be a little bit flatter on the top. It's shaped more like a heart. Uh, the one that Maurer Moore did on Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is much more circular, and the ones that Mac do have this general shape that we're looking at right here. So uh, there's really not too much to this. You just do a typical loop. Uh, you go up into your, uh, uh, you keep it positive up to a point, and then I usually go down to about zero right here. Uh, let me turn off the lateral forces so we can see just a little bit better. So we go down to zero about here, and I held it just for a little bit longer than you normally would on a loop, just because during that part is when the roll is happening. Uh, and in this case, we did 188 degree roll, uh, and it's fairly even. I could fool around with it some more and make sure that it's totally even. Um, you can, I mean, when I say even, I mean from the point it starts right here to the point it ends right there. Uh, but overall, it looks all right. Uh, and then it just rolls around 180 degrees and comes back down. And, of course, the force increases. I think this goes up to 3.498. Let's see if that's about accurate. Uh, so, uh, 3 point, yeah, roughly around there. So, uh, you see it's not too difficult to do this. It's fairly pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to have to go ahead and put this on a ride at some point. I had never uh, really thought about doing a non-inverted loop, actually, but I like the way they look. Um, I have ridden, of course, the ones, I guess, on uh, Tempesto. I guess that counts as a non-inverting loop, but it has. Uh, so they are pretty fun, so I might go ahead and put this on a ride. So, uh, Lewis, this is a short episode, you can see, but there's really not too much to this. I will, as usual, upload the file so anyone can take a look at it. But you can see it's fairly just... Uh, you, you go up into the, uh, the positive G-forces, you hold them for just a minute, uh, then you go down to zero, hold that for a moment at the top, and then back up into positives and roll just out. And then I just put a quick little airtime hill there just for fun. Uh, and then, of course, during the negative or the zero G-point, you do your roll. So not too difficult. Let's take another quick ride on it. Um, I think I could probably do better if I fooled around with it for a little while if I were really trying to do something really perfect I would fool around with it just a little bit but it doesn't look too bad to me so let's see we go up and around and there we go it's pretty simple and then of course we come out of here and have a nice little pop of extreme air time ejector so that is going to be it for this episode like I said I will upload the file I'll include the link in the description as usual if there's anything that you all want to see that I haven't done um, I have a list of things I'm going to do, but if, if there's anything you want to see right away, just let me know and I will try to get to it. But that's going to be it for this episode, so take care and enjoy the ride.